The Congaree Foundation was set up for not necessarily developing the next tour player, it's developing the next, you know, person that's going to contribute to the world and we're using golf as a vehicle. The mission really was to make golf available to all parts of the community. Jasper County is one of the less fortunate counties in the entire state and there really wasn't an outlet for for people to who wanted to experience golf that could afford to do that or a place to go where they wouldn't feel intimidated. The golf course was um, about to go into foreclosure and it was actually sold on the courthouse steps to a trailer park company and then it's when we decided to step in and and uh, uh, throw our hat in the ring because without Sergeant Jasper there wouldn't be a golf course in Jasper County. It was in pretty rough shape which is you know we're gradually making improvements it was uh, it's been neglected for several years. The greens out here were, were, were really really bad uh, when we took it over. Quite frankly the greens were bad. They were they, were, they would have to move up in stature to get the bad. They were atrocious. We got involved because they're doing great things for the game of golf. Golf's always been my roots, if you will, and uh, we love giving back. We've done a ton of first tee projects, and when we heard about the Sarge, and uh, we, were, we were on the recharge the Sarge train as soon as we heard about it. Today we're, you know, we're putting the, the Sunday Bermuda grass down, and, and it's just going to be, you know, the, the, you can have the best golf course in the world if you don't have good greens, you, and, and it's not going to be called the best golf course in the world. <laughs> you know, but if you got good greens, everything's great from there on. Sunday is probably one of the most fascinating grasses I've ever seen. It's easy, it's relatively low maintenance, other high maintenance associated with uh, other ultra dwarf grasses that we grow and sell. Um, if you don't have those tools and those whistles and bells from day one, you're going to get behind. With Sunday, uh, you can really start out with a minimalistic uh, management approach and have a really good quality green. Well, it means everything. It's been here since 1965 and Jack Nicklaus and Gary Player have played here back in the day and um, a lot of good players have, have grown up here. And so to see it go away would be really unfortunate. As far as the, the, the children go, I won't charge the children anything. And if, if they need uh, golf balls or they need tees, or, or whatever they need to come out and play, I'll provide it for them, no charge, and just let them go out and experience it. To actually learn about golf, um, or on the maintenance side of things, it's important that you actually play golf, a nine-hole golf course, and that's what this is. We're bringing kids out here learning golf. You know, when you learn golf, you get the, uh, the life lessons of you know, playing by the rules and, and, and all the gentlemanly things that go along with, with golf. So. It's trying to get kids into a functional setting where they, where they learn and grow.